Welcome to the Empowered Spirit Show. This is your host, Terry Ann Hyman. I'll explore the connection to the human spirit in a way that helps to navigate your life, including crisis. I am passionate about helping you to open up to your intuition and the metaphysical world of spirit to find your confidence in your own inner guidance. Take a pause, be inspired, learn ways to show up focused, centered, and more dynamic in your everyday life. Welcome back to the Empowered Spirit Show. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me today. This episode is being sponsored by Ritual and Shelter. Are you looking for a magical place to shop and hold space? Check out Ritual and Shelter online or in Homewood, Alabama. Browse through their bookshelves covering topics such as energy healing, crystal healing, Reiki, chakras, auras, the Akashic Records, shadow work, astrology, and earth-based healing. You can also find herbal teas and tinctures alongside their crystals and oils to help establish a mindful mindset and fluid ambience before meditation, ritual work, and reflection. Ritual and Shelter is dedicated to providing one-on-one in-depth conversations with customers to help them find the most efficient healing methods and resources that match their unique interest and energy. They offer tarot sessions, Reiki, sound bowl, and crystal healing, and now they are offering witch consultations. Visit RitualShelter.com to book an appointment and bring peace back to the body, mind, and spirit. You can also find them on Instagram at Ritual Shelter Shop, as well as Pinterest at Ritual Plus Shelter. As this podcast goes to air, we find ourselves moving into the holiday season and the final weeks of fall. Cosmically, we have entered into the last Mercury retrograde of the year in the sign of Sagittarius. It's an interesting one for sure, and it lasts until the middle of December. So what it comes down to is that it will shift your perspective. It will open your mind to look at many different possibilities. Sagittarius is like the traveler, the wanderer, the expansion energy comes in for you. However, with the retrograde part of it, it can make you feel a little bit of, hmm, what do I really think? Hmm, what do I really believe, right? We ask these questions because it can shift a perspective. Now, it also means that you need to slow down, review what's going on. If you're traveling, you need to make sure you've given yourself enough time, check your plans, check your luggage. Don't be in a panic. Don't be in a rush. And don't let this bring a tizzy on. I kind of like Mercury retrogrades because it gives me the opportunity to clean out, review, recycle, redo all of these many things. And as we come to the end of fall and into winter, it is a great time to renew all that you have going on for you. All right. We also entered into that sign of Sagittarius and we have a new moon coming in on the 1st of December, that new moon energy offers you the possibility of setting new intentions, setting those intentions to bring you through to the end of the year. What intentions do you want to set? We always have this opportunity with the new moon and having that influence of Sagittarius expand your dreams, expand those possibilities for yourself and your path. Very important that we take the time to connect with the cosmic forces. And really that's why we need a spiritual practice, especially if we feel like there's a little confusion, I'm uncertain, I don't even know what I think anymore. Having the truth of who you are is something that the spiritual practice gives you. It lets you trust your inner guidance. And right now more than ever, We need to find ways that we can trust our own voice, our own path. And these are ways in which you can do it. Having a spiritual practice will give you the opportunity to breathe, to pause, to focus the mind. Lots of times lately I've been here and I just can't focus. I can't sit still. Well, of course, (laughs) we have so much going on in the world between all the running around, all the 5G, all the scrolling. So having a spiritual practice and the tools and techniques can help you to slow down, to breathe, and to really know the truth of who you are. And it is a great thing to be able to shift and change and grow. I mean, come on, from the moment we're born, we are growing and changing, yet as we get older, we resist change. The mind kind of gets a little stuck, the intellect, and we're like, no, I just know what I need. I know what I want to do, yet... So much is changing in the world. Having the ability to tune into you, to know your truth, can really help you open up to a bigger part of who you are. 
So I'm back doing my weekly lives. I've moved them to Mondays for now. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to Sundays, but catch them or catch the replay. And I'm calling them weekly pages from the Akashic realm, bringing you cosmic updates, bringing you messages that I've been receiving. Now, I had a comment from last week's podcast about why I was teaching working in the Akashic realm. The confusion was that she thought the Akashic realm was just for getting readings for your past life. Now, that is true, and we can get readings from our past life, but there's so much more that the possibilities can open up for you when we work in the Akashic realm. And most people do think this, but the way in which I have found, and this comes from experience, working with my private mentoring clients, that when you are able to be guided into your records and actually feel these instances, this wisdom coming forward for your soul without judgment, that's the beauty of the Akashic realm. We're working with our soul. There's no judgment on our soul. Human qualities bring in judgment and doubt, but not in the Akashic realm, not in those higher dimensions of light, which is one of the reasons I love working in this. We can witness our soul's path without feeling judgment or shame or why did I do this or I must have been wrong. No, we let all that go. This is why I teach working in the Akashic records because it helps you to really feel into old emotions that are really deep within you. The brain can't remember everything from all your past lives, but the body knows, the body remembers. And so as we work and as we open up to this realm of possibility, you get to experience old feelings, old emotions that create current behaviors and beliefs. All right, I wanted to offer an example, all right, of this story. So I was working with a client and she was trying to free herself from a marriage that really wasn't serving her anymore, but she really couldn't take that next step forward. She'd been talking about, talking about, talking about it. So as we worked together, we developed some intuitive skills and we went into her Akashic records. So with some guidance, she recognized an old emotional energy that she had adapted very early on from her childhood. She wasn't even really aware that she had picked this up. It became a behavior and a way of thinking. She had a belief that a single woman represented an energy of not a very good woman. It was kind of bad. It looked down, you know, people look down on it. And so she herself kind of had that opinion. Well, if I'm single, there must be something wrong with me. Kind of that old spinster attitude, right? So she had formed current beliefs around this that kept her in that fear of moving forward. She recognized she was afraid of what others would think of herself and even she had a lot of judgment about her own self as well. We also uncovered that in a past life, her father had left her in a convent after her mother had died because he feared he couldn't take care of her and this would be better for her. And so she had lived, she felt and she saw, and we talked about, she had lived a life of solitude and loneliness, very isolated from the world, feeling she wasn't loved. And so both of these imprints, it can be complicated like this, both of these imprints were affecting her behavior in this current life. She didn't wanna be lonely. She didn't wanna feel a life of solitude. She wanted to be able to free herself. And so as we began to feel into these buried emotions in the body, we were able to call in the healing guides, to release the old imprints, to call in her higher self for messages all about this. We brought in the wisdom. Her higher self showed her of these old beliefs and true to her present life that we're keeping. Her higher self showed her these old beliefs and they weren't true to her present life. She had a social life. She had friends. She wasn't loveless. But the old beliefs had kept her stuck. And so as we allowed the messages to come forward, as we allowed the healing guides to pull out all these old energies, she was able to start freeing that energy for her. Now, we also went a little further and we used emotional freedom technique, tapping, to help her rewire the brain and to really encourage these new behaviors in the present life. So this is why I use all the tools all the tools we looked at past life we looked at old beliefs in her early childhood we go back we go back we go back then we move it into the present life and even into the future because we want to set this freedom for her yes there is follow-up she will need to tap to continually rewire the brain but actually once you uncover it just takes a little bit of processing and moving forward and using the tools to help you really set this path 
And yes, this is the way in which she was able to free herself, move forward, yes she did, and create a new path for her life in this present lifetime. Very powerful. And what a great example of how we can use all the spiritual tools in the Akashic realm. And again, there is no judgment. We just free our soul and we uncover these troubles that keep us stuck in this lifetime. Definitely quite fascinating. So my soul work, learning to read your Akashic records begins in January, but I have a few bonus trainings coming up in December. The sooner you choose to join the class, the more opportunities you will receive, like intuitive development, connecting with your guide, your higher self, and the angels. So definitely check it out. I do have two slots I put on Black Friday, 50% off, only two. So you have to be quick if you want to take advantage of the Black Friday sale. So I guess I should really call it a holiday sale because Black Friday's over. It will be a holiday sale and I will offer two, but you must get them quickly. So today, let's take a moment, pause and breathe. Let's open up to the Akashic realm, kind of like we did last week, but let's call in the energy of your higher self so that you can begin to feel what it is to have that higher self with you and receive whatever messages you may need to receive right now. Maybe it is about love. Maybe it is about freedom of your soul. Notice what you notice. So let's begin. Wherever you are, if you can, take a nice deep inhale and exhale. As we go to create this sacred space, we bring in all of the sacred elements of life lighting a little fire, inspiring the soul to open up, inspiring you to pull that wisdom within you, noticing the element of air, clearing the space, clearing the mind, taking in that fire energy, the air, calling in the element of water, to open up all that emotional energy, to free the heart, opening up, calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering, feeling your feet on the earth, on the ground. Inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, call all your energy into you, slowing down, centering. Inhale, expanding the breath up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part of your heart. Feeling that connection with your spirit and the greater spirit, source, creator. Know that you are loved, guided, protected as we create this sacred space. Imagining crystals in each of the four corners. Imagining yourself opening up into this higher realm of possibility, moving through these tunnels of light. We ask permission to enter into the records. We call in our guardians and our guides as we move through this veil of roses, opening up into the higher realms of possibility. Breathing, inhale and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale, opening up your radiant light, opening up into this higher realm of possibilities. Imagine, pretend, visualize you moving into this galaxy of light. See yourself sitting in this galaxy, surrounded by all of the records, your records of life. As we call in, our masters, our teachers, we call in the guardians to help us. And now we call in your higher self. Imagine the higher self coming in right above you in this higher realm of opportunities. Take a moment, noticing your higher self. How does that feel for you? Notice that connection. The higher chakra is open in this higher realm. The energy starts to move through. Can you feel that? 
the higher self, ask. The soul never lies, ask, is this my higher self that I feel? Receive, acknowledge, trust. Take a deep breath all the way through this channel of light into the higher self. And as you exhale, that absolute light, those streams of grace move through. And now ask your higher self, is there a message for my path? Ask, what am I stuck in? Ask. Feel this realm opening up for you. Feel the messages. Maybe you sense, maybe you see, maybe you hear, maybe you just know. Where am I stuck? What are the emotions that are holding me back? The fear, the doubt, the judgment. Notice what comes in for you. And now as you receive these messages, sending Reiki to your heart, through this realm of opportunity, possibilities, the Akashic realm, receive messages. Receive this Reiki light. Receive this love of your own soul's journey. Notice what you notice. Holding the space for you to receive these messages. So I've just noticed the crystal beings of selenite, clarity, ask for clarity, have come in through the higher self, bring in the selenite, the crystal beings, pure light, representing that higher self, truth, your truth. Imagine these little crystal beings of selenite all around you, helping you to align and feel that clarity. Take another deep breath. Receive the messages of your higher self. We offer gratitude for this connection. Know that you can come back to it at any time. Every day, connect with the higher self through these realms, these higher dimensions of light. Yes, you can. So we begin to seal this energy in. Shokurei, 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 this vibration of light. Taking another deep inhale and exhale. We start to move back through these tunnels, back through the veil of roses, coming back into the present life. Feel yourself coming back. Take another deep breath. Grounding, centering. We go to separate out our energies. Imagine a crystal ball right above your head. See your name in red and imagine reaching up and just imagine receiving all this absolute light all the way through your energies separated, my energy separated, yet we are all connected. Bringing the awareness right back down, feeling yourself grounding, just bringing the hands up to the heart, just taking a moment of gratitude for your guide, your guardians, for your higher self, for your soul's journey. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down. Feel the heart opening. Feel the illumination of your third eye. And as you're ready, blink in the eyes, back open, coming back. So take a moment. Notice what you noticed, bring it into the present form. Be strong, be solid with these messages. Trust, don't doubt. The soul has truth for you. Take another breath, take a sip of water, stretch a little bit. 
Yes, you can access your records. Yes, you can bring these messages forward for your growth. Working in the higher realms removes the judgments, the fears, the doubts. So we begin to trust our truth and know these shifts and these changes coming up and how to take that next step forward. Come join me in the Akashic Record class. It begins in January, but get all the bonuses by committing now. Lots of events going on in the local area. My next Reiki circle at the Yoga Lab, December 14th. And I'll be offering, along with Don Cassisi, a winter solstice at the Clubhouse on Highland. Be sure to check out all the information. You can find it on my website or my Instagram. And now find this live on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. So grateful. This is your host, Terri Ann Hyman, to your spirit. Namaste.